Ever wonder how shoulder joint replacement surgery is actually performed? Let's break it down in simple terms. This surgery is done when the shoulder joint is severely damaged by arthritis, injury, or long-term wear and tear, causing pain and stiffness. First, the patient is given anesthesia to ensure they're fully comfortable. The surgeon makes a careful incision over the front of the shoulder to expose the joint. The damaged ball at the top of the upper arm bone, called the humeral head, is removed and replaced with a smooth metal ball attached to a stem that fits inside the bone. Then, the damaged socket part of the shoulder blade, called the glenoid, is cleaned and resurfaced with a durable plastic cup. These new parts work together to recreate the natural movement of the shoulder. Once everything is perfectly aligned, the surgeon closes the incision and the arm is placed in a sling.